Kenwood's DDX line has a new look, and the DDX26BT is definitely an upgrade from its predecessor, the DDX25BT. And for under $200, this doubled-in DVD CD receiver has everything you need when upgrading the factory stereo in your 98 Nissan Altima. Stay tuned for our RMS power testing of this stereo in just a few minutes. Inside the box is a parking brake extension, wiring harness, external Bluetooth microphone, hardware, instruction manual, warranty card, and double din stereo. Besides the obvious design changes between this unit and the previous model, the next major difference is the addition of the rear 3.5mm iPod AV jack, which will allow you to mirror a mobile device to the stereo. Using this jack in combination with the Kenwood CA C3 AV as well as our mirroring adapter HDMI V2, you'll be able to mirror your smartphone to the stereo. Links in the bio for all mirroring adapters and kits. The DDX26BT has a 6.2 inch clear resistive touchscreen display and a built in DVD player. Its LED backlighting helps combat sunlight, however it's not HD and instead has a resolution of 800 by 480 pixels. Bluetooth lets you practice hands free calling and go through your phone book. You can also wirelessly stream music from your libraries and apps to the radio from your mobile device. The DDX26BT also offers dual phone Bluetooth connection. Connecting a device via the USB port not only enables a charge to your phone, but also gives you access to your music and app control over music apps like Spotify and Pandora. The difference between the USB and Bluetooth connection is that the USB offers high quality audio, as opposed to compressed Bluetooth audio. The tuner features 15 FM and 5 AM presets, no HD radio. The stereo is Sirius XM ready with the SXV 300V1 Universal Tuner and steering wheel control ready with the Access ASWC1 interface. Links in the bio for both. Using USB drives or CDs, the radio is compatible with MP3, WMA, AAC, WAV, and FLAC audio files. And for video, it plays back MPEG-1, MPEG-2. You can also upload and view JPEG images. Customize your DDX26BT with several preset wallpapers or upload your own. Ken would put you in full control of the audio. Let's test this stereo out and see what it can do. Kenwood rates the stereo 14 watts RMS by 4 channels at 4 ohms. The first test we ran was 2 channels driven at 4 ohms, 14.4 volts, 40 hertz, EQ flat. Our audio precision will generate our signal and measure distortion. At volume 32, our HP 8903B audio analyzer picked up 17.68 watts RMS. The audio precision read 0.1% distortion and 8.34 volts of output. We can switch between left and right channels to see the differences. Our AMM1 read 15 watts. We got 8.36 volts on the Lumi, and we drew 4.76 amps of current.
up to 1 kilohertz. At volume 32, our HP picked up 17.77 watts RMS. The audio precision read 0.14% distortion and 8.35 volts of output. Channel swap. Our AMM1 read 13 watts RMS. We got 8.37 volts on the Lumi and we drew 4.63 amps of current. Next, we tested the RCA preamp outputs, which can would rate at 2 volts. At 1 kilohertz, we got 2.25 volts. Our final test was on frequency response. We used our audio precision to run up each frequency. At just under $200, this stereo is a pretty solid upgrade to your head unit. Be sure to go to qualitymobilevideo.com to get all of your car audio and video gear with us today. Links for everything in the bio below. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and click that like button, but if you hate it, click the dislike button. Join the conversation below and subscribe to our channel if you're new. Thanks for watching.